Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, good, because my, uh, well, I'll go ahead. Hello, everyone. My name is Michelle Fletcher, and I am the academic recruiter for the college. Thank you all for joining us this afternoon. This is the fourth of eight sessions that we are hosting in the month of June. Mm -hmm. Every Wednesday and Friday from 2.30 to 3, we are highlighting one of our CBCC technical programs. Today, we're highlighting the radiology program. Ms. Priscilla Liggins is one of our professors, and she'll be talking with us in just a few minutes about this curriculum. Also on the panel, uh, we have Michael Donkins. He's representing the admissions office. Ume Kalson, representing financial aid, and Ashley Pearson will be representing counseling. Now, each of these individuals will take a few minutes a little bit later to talk with you about their role uh, that they will play in helping you get started at CBCC. Uh, but to go ahead and get us started uh, with our session, Kimberly French is going to come and give us the rules of engagement. And after that, you will hear from Ms. Priscilla Liggins. Hello, everyone. I'm Kimberly French, first year programs coordinator here at CBCC. And just to let you know, if you're interested to, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the chat feature um, at the very bottom. There's also reactions to the right. Mm -hmm. If you like something, you can put a thumbs up or you can clap. Um, just a reminder, we will do a Q&A at the very end. So if you have questions, just put them in there and we'll be answering them for you. So now I have the pleasure to introduce you to Ms. Priscilla Ligon to talk to you about radiology. Uh, good evening to everyone. It's my pleasure to be here and thank you, Michelle and Kim, for inviting me. Um, my name is Priscilla Ligon. I am the clinical coordinator for the radiology program at Central Virginia Community College. I'm going into my 31st year at the community college with radiology and enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, a little bit about our program. Uh, another word for radiology is, of course, x-ray. And that is what we teach our students in a two-year period. It is a two-year program. Um, we take applications starting with the cutoff March the 1st. Uh, we try to take anywhere from 14 to 16 students per year. It is a full-time program, even though it's community college, the students are expected to be in didactic classes, and then they're in clinical with me uh, in the local clinical sites here in Lynchburg. Uh, we get excited about the admission process. We have Ashley who's here, she's our uh, counselor for the health uh, of radiology. And uh, the process is, if you're interested in the program, it all starts with your high school counselor sometime, who refers you to the college counselor. Uh, Ashley would then look at your transcripts and see if your GPA is accurate enough for you to uh, go forward in that program. We do have a GPA cutoff or not, but we, we would like to say we don't want to go anywhere under 2.5 uh, because it's a very vigorous program with math and sciences. Uh, after you have met with Ashley, she sends your paperwork down to their program director, who uh, is Ms. Susan Fitzsimons, and she will look and evaluate that and get in touch with you for an interview process. This year, of course, things have been different, but we followed the same procedure. She interviewed online for the first time and she interviewed by telephone. Mm -hmm. And at this present time, we're excited that we have accepted uh, 16 new individuals into our class. We do take high schoolers. Um, they would also need to meet with Ashley and bring their transcripts, dual enrollers. We take students who are transferring from other programs. Some have master's degrees already, but just want a uh, degree in radiology. Uh, the bottom line is that you're learning to take x-rays on patients. We have clinical sites here in Lynchburg. Uh, we deal with Central Health. We deal with the University of Virginia. We go to Bedford. We go to Farmville during that two-year period of time. A lot of students say, well, I immediately start my clinical rotations. The answer is yes. Under my instruction and my clinical instructors, uh, we're there to get you off and running the very first day you get there. So we have classes. We have didactic classes, then we have our clinical performance classes. At the end of that two-year period, you will set for a registry just to see that you've learned everything that we taught you. After you pass that board, as we call it, you become certified and registered mm -hmm. to work anywhere in the United States. And we have people who decide to work in the hospitals, people decide to work in the doctor's offices, some people decide to go to MRI, CT. There are just so many things that you can do after you complete this program. Uh, our success rate is very good. You can look on our website for all of those numbers. Uh, our job placement is very good. Uh, my goal is, and the community college goal, is that when you finish this program, that you're job ready. And so we help you uh, by looking up those places, uh, doctor's offices, health departments, 
uh, in hospitals, whether it be University of Virginia, I have people in uh, Halifax, I have people down in Norfolk, people out of the country. I just talked to one of my students who graduated from Heritage High School back in the 90s. Uh, he's at San Francisco, California, and he's having a wonderful time working out there in the cath lab. Uh, so we have people all over the place. We have a very few who chose to go through radiology and then go back to school and perhaps get their bachelor's degree if they didn't mm -hmm. have it. All these things are just wide open for you to do. So I recommend the program. Uh, I've been doing radiology for 45 years. Uh, I went into the program at CVCC in 1974, straight out of high school and 17 years old. And I have been working and then I changed from Central to CVCC in 1989. And for me, it has been a wonderful career, rewarding. I have not got burnt out. And I'm teaching my students to love what you do and do what you love. So if you're interested in radiology, first of all, just check it out on my website and then call up Ashley or email Ashley and just get the ball rolling. And I'm always available. My email is uh, on the college website. Mrs. Fitzsimmons email is on the college website. We'd be more than happy to talk to you individually uh, or collectively, or if you need for your family member to even talk to us about the program, please feel free to do that. So that's all I have to say. We're excited about the radiology program. It started in 1968 mm -hmm. at Central Virginia Community College and it has been blasting ever since. Thank you so much for inviting me, Michelle and Kim. Thank you so much, Priscilla. Uh, my name is Michael and I work in the admissions and records office. I wanna briefly let you know about what you need to do to apply and a couple things to keep in mind uh, as a new student. Now, if you're already a student with us, then congratulations and welcome to CVCC. But if you're not yet a student with us, you'll want to go to our website, which is www.centralvirginia.edu. And on the left side of the page, there's a button that says start here. You wanna click that and then you'll be taken to another page with a big tab that says apply online. If you click that, you'll be taken to the application for admission where you'll create an account using your own personal email address and then you'll be able to access the application. And the application itself will only take you about five to 10 minutes to complete max. So it's, it's pretty short for you to do, but you wanna make sure you take your time and read the questions carefully to prevent any errors on your student account. And once you submit your application, you'll receive an email confirmation that contains your CVCC student ID number and a welcome message to CVCC. Now this email serves essentially as your acceptance letter. And at this point, you're fully accepted to CVCC and you're considered a student with us. So it's pretty easy. Now in a few minutes, Ashley's gonna talk about some specific requirements for the radiology program. Um, so she'll uh, inform you about that. But as far as the admissions office is concerned, this is all that you need to do. And then once you're a student with us, you can get us your high school transcripts or any other college transcripts as well if you need any transfer credit. Now, there are a couple of scenarios in which you do not need to submit the application. Number one, if you're a current dual enrolled student with us who is currently taking classes or just took classes, you would already be in our system as an active student, so there's really no need to uh, submit a new application. And number two, if you've taken classes with us within the past three years, you also would be in our system as an active student and you would not need to reapply. And there's one more thing that I wanted to mention. Once you're accepted, you'll want to set up your student account. And you can do this by clicking on the My CVCC button on the home page. And doing this, you'll be able to set up a username and password. And you can check your student account for any registration holds that you might need to get resolved before you actually enroll in classes. And also to check to see if you're classified as an in-state or out-of-state student. You know, one of the benefits of attending CVCC is that we can offer you an in-state tuition rate to any domiciled Virginia residents, which is lower than the out-of-state rate. And the admissions application has a section in which you can establish your eligibility to receive the in-state rate. So make sure you pay close attention to those questions. Unfortunately, just giving us a Virginia address doesn't automatically qualify you for the in-state rate. So if you do get classified out of state and, and you think you should be in state, you're more than welcome to appeal that. And you'll need to contact the admissions and records office and we can walk you through the appeal process. Well, that's about all I wanted to mention for the admissions process. Please feel free to contact our office with any specific questions you might have and we'll be happy to get you taken care of. So this time I'll turn it over to Ume in the financial aid office. 
Hi everyone, my name is Ume um, and I'll be talking about financial aid today. So if you haven't already done so, you would want to do your 2020-2021 FAFSA application and you can go ahead, it's been open since October 1st of 2019. Uh, you can go ahead and find that application on FAFSA.gov and you can go ahead and complete it there. Um, make sure to do the 2021. I know the 1920 year is coming to a close, but many students have uh, mistaken that to do the 1920 instead of the 2020 and 2021 application. Mm -hmm. So that uh, application is going to require you to have your 2018 tax information. If you're under the age of 24 and you're still dependent on your parents, um, you will want your parents' tax information as well. And again, that would be for 2018. Um, and once and you will have to add our school code, which is 004988, or you can simply search CVCC in the state of Virginia and you will find our school. Um, this is very important and critical because if you don't add CVCC, there's no way that we'll ever get your financial aid application. Um, so be sure to add CVCC and once you submit it, it does take three to five business days for us to receive your application. And once we receive it, we'll send a message to your CVCC email, that's again to as Michael mentioned, it's through your SIS account. Um, you can access that through your MyCVCC um, username and password. Um, after you do that, then you can contact us. And if you have any to-do list items, they'll be under your student center. Um, and if you can contact us at the financial aid office, you can find our information on the website as well. And we will be happy to you know, walk you through any steps um, and send you the forms. They're also online, but if you're having trouble accessing them, then we'll be more than happy to send them to you. Um, if you are out of state again and you qualify for the federal Pell Grant, then you will receive it. We also have scholarships that we offer through the foundation office. You can also apply for those. So there are a lot of uh, financial aid opportunities. If you um, are thinking that you're not eligible, then just contact us and we'll you know walk you through and determine your case by case and see if you can qualify for anything, any state grants or any Pell Grant or any, any sort of other grants that we have. So there's a lot of opportunities to receive financial aid. Don't if you're thinking that I shouldn't even apply for the FAFSA because you know I might not, might not even get it. My income's over um, the limit. Then you know just contact us just to make sure that um, you know sometimes you think that you make too much money or whatever the case might be, and your parents make too much money. But um, sometimes it turns out the other way, and you do qualify. So you don't want to miss out on on this financial aid opportunity. Um, also, if you have any other questions regarding applying, um, we can, you know, do a Zoom meeting and we can walk you through um, the FAFSA or we can, you know, share screens and walk you through. So if you have any trouble with any sort of financial aid issues, you can just contact us. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Ume. Uh, you can find my email on the website as well. Um, and hopefully we can help you out with your financial aid needs. And now I'm going to pass it over to Ashley Pearson who will talk about counseling. Thank you, Ume. My name is Ashley Pearson and I'm a counselor here at CBCC and I work with students interested in the allied um, health programs like radiology. And today I'm gonna to go through the steps on how to apply to the program. The radiology program is selective admissions and there are certain prerequisites you must meet before you can apply to the program. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do um, after you've applied to CBCC is go ahead and get your high school transcript sent to us and if you've attended any college or university, you'll wanna have those transcripts sent to us as well so we can determine whether a course will transfer in. The prerequisites to apply to the program, mm -hmm. um, the high school prerequisites are two years of math, algebra one, algebra two, or geometry, and two years of a lab science like biology, chemistry, or physics. You must also demonstrate college math and English readiness, and we can do this in a variety of ways. We can use your high school transcript or we could have you take the Virginia placement test. The last requirement you will need before applying to the program is a college GPA of 2.5. And if you haven't taken any college courses, then we will need a high school GPA of at least a 3.3. Once these prerequisites are met, we can submit a referral to the program. The referral is paperwork that you and I do together. And we then send to the program director, Mrs. Fitzsimons, and then she will mail you an application to the program. You'll send it back to her, and then she selects individuals to um, come in for an interview. The program begins every fall semester, and the deadline to complete the referral is March 1st. Um, since radiology is a selective admissions program, the stronger your academic record, the better. They're looking for students that have um, a good GPA, 
2.5 is the minimum to apply, but having a GPA higher than that stands out to the admissions committee and um, should be your goal. In addition to having good grades, I also encourage students to do research into the field, and this can be done in a variety of ways. Um, you can do, you can watch videos online, you can research online as well, and if you can do some volunteering or shadowing, that's also something that we encourage students to do. Um, if you'd like to apply for the fall 2021 um, admissions, I look forward to meeting with you soon. I'm available through Zoom appointments or by phone, um, but now's the time to um, get in contact with us so we can help you um, prepare to apply for next fall. So thank you for being with us today, and I'm gonna turn it over to Michelle. All right, thank you, panel. Well, this brings us to the Q&A portion, and I'm not sure, let me ask Kimberly. Kimberly, do we have any uh, questions in the chat? We do not have any, Michelle. All right then, well, we're gonna go ahead and bring it to a close. Let me uh, remind everyone that these sessions are recorded and they can be found on our website and our YouTube channel. Also, every Tuesday from 5.30 to 6.30 p, uh, 6 p.m., we host what amounts to a virtual open house. Uh, these sessions uh, during those times mm -hmm. are an opportunity for students to get a lot of vital information on how to get started at CBCC as well as what to expect at this new ac uh, academic level. So I would encourage uh, all of our students to, uh, to join us on those Tuesdays at 5.30. As a matter of fact, next Tuesday, June 16th, we will uh, have someone from the English department talking uh, with our students. So please join us. Again, you're gonna get a lot of good information uh, uh, that will help you get started. And again, help you understand what you can expect come the fall. So thank you again for joining us and have a great weekend. Bye. Thank y'all. Bye.